sorry I am for getting so upset yesterday over a thing like that. A thing like what? Well, yesterday. Yesterday when? Yesterday where? Well, don't you remember? It was about that wretched rhinoceros. What rhinoceros? A rhinoceros. Or rather the two wretched rhinoceros. Oh, oh. yes. I remember. How do you know they were wretched? Oh, I just said that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about that anymore. That's very, very nice, then. That's that. But I would like to say how sorry I am for being so insistent. And so obstinate. And for getting so angry. In fact, I acted stupid. That's not surprising with you. I'm very <laughs> sorry. I don't feel well. That's probably why you're in bed. You know, John, as it turned out, we were both right. What about? Well, about the same thing. Uh, sorry to bring it up again. I'll only mention it briefly. I just wanted you to know that in our different ways, we were both right. It's been proved now. There are some rhinoceroses in the town with one horn and some with two. That's what I told you! Ugh. Well, that's just too bad. Yes, too bad. Or maybe it's all to the good, it depends. <laughs> in the final analysis, it doesn't much matter which comes from where. The important thing, as I see it, is the fact that they're there at all. I just don't feel well. I don't feel well at all. I am sorry. What do you think it might be? I don't know. There's something wrong somewhere. Well, do you feel weak? No, not at all. On the contrary, I feel full of beans. I meant just a, a passing weakness. It happens to everyone. It never happens to me. Perhaps you're too healthy, then. You know, <laughs> too much energy can be a bad thing. It unsettles the nervous system. <laughs> My nervous system is in perfect working order. I'm sound in mind and limb. I come a long line I know of... you do. Uh, perhaps you've just caught a chill. Do you have a temperature, a fever? I don't know. Uh... Yes, I probably have a touch of fever. <laughs> Oh, my head aches. Your pulse. It, it will pass. Your pulse is quite normal. You need 
I'm not alarmed in the slightest. Why should I be? Well, you're right. A few days rest is when you're right. I've no time to rest. I must go get some food. Well, there's not much the matter. You ought to take, take rest. It's wise to take care. Has the doctor been to see you? I don't need a doctor. No, but you ought to get You're doctor. not getting a doctor! Because I don't want one. Well, you mustn't reject medical advice. Doctors invent illnesses that don't exist. Well, they do so in good faith. Pleasure of looking at They invent people. illnesses! <laughs> they invent them, I tell you! Perhaps they do, but after they invent them, they cure them. Uh -huh. I have <laughs> confidence in veterinary surgeons. They're veterinary surgeons. <laughs> Your veins, veins are swollen, they, they, they're jutting out. It's a sign of virility. <laughs> of course, it's a sign of health and strength. What do you think you're doing? Scrutinizing me as if I were some strange animal? It's your skin. What's my skin got to do with you? I don't go on about your skin. What? It's just that it seems to be changing color all the time. It's hard to Stop well. mauling me about! What's wrong with you? You're getting on my nerves. Perhaps this is more serious than I thought. <laughs> I'm going to get the doctor. Leave that thing alone. Right. Mind your own business! It was for your own good. I know better than you what's good for me. You think very heavily, John. One breathes as best one can. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like the way I breathe. I don't like the way you breathe. Your what? breathing's too <laughs> feeble. You can't even hear it. It's as if you were going to. Drop dead at any moment. Well, I know I'm not as strong as I don't keep trying to get you to a doctor. Do I? You mustn't get angry, Sean. You know very well that I'm your friend. <laughs> There's no such thing as friendship. I don't believe in your friendship. That's a very hurtful thing to say. There's <laughs> nothing to be hurt about! My dear John! I'm not your dear John! You certainly are in a very misanthropic mood today. Yes! I'm misanthropic! Very misanthropic! <laughs> I like to be misanthropic! <laughs> you must still just be upset over our silly quarrel yesterday. I admit it was my fault. That's why I came to say I was sorry. What, what, what quarrel are you talking about? I just told you just now, the one about the rhinoceros. It's not that I hate people! <laughs> I'm just indifferent to them! Or rather, they disgust me, and they better get out of my way, or I'll run them down. Well, you know very well I shall never stand in your way. I've got one aim in life, <laughs> and it's great for it. <laughs> well, I'm sure you're right, baby. I feel you're passing through a moral crisis, son. You mustn't excite yourself, it's bad for you. I felt uncomfortable in my clothes, and now my pajamas irritate me. Whatever is the matter with your skin? Ah, stop going on about my skin! I certainly wouldn't want to change it for yours. It's just that it's hardening. It's gone like leather. It's solid. It makes it weatherproof. <laughs> You've got color mania today. You're seeing things. You. You've been drinking again. I did yesterday, but not today. This is the result of all your debauches. I told you I could turn over a new leaf. Sean, I, I take I take notice when friends like you give me advice, and I never feel humiliated. On the contrary. <laughs> I don't care what you feel. <laughs> what did you say? I didn't say anything. I just went. <laughs> Do you know what's happened to Bullet? Buff turned into a rhinoceros. What, what happened to Buff? He's turned into a rhinoceros. Oh, 
Come on now, stop joking! But I can buff if I want to! <laughs> I'm in my own house! I have every right! I didn't say that you couldn't. And I shouldn't! If I were you! Hard. Far too hard. Just a moment. I'm going to go. I'm jolly well going to phone the doctor. So, all oh, the puff turned into a rhinoceros, did he? <laughs> he was just having you on. He disguised himself. He was just disguised. He looked very serious about it, I assure you. <laughs> How do you know? Everything led one to suppose so. And what if he did do it on purpose? What if he did do it on purpose? I'd be very surprised. In any case, Mrs. Boff didn't know anything about That old Mrs. Boff? She's just a fool. A fool or no fools. Boff never let his wife know what he was up to. Uh, you're wrong there, John. It was a very united family. Very united, was it? Yes, a very huh? united family. And the proof Boff had a secret side to himself. Which he kept deep down, away from everyone else. I shouldn't make you talk. It seems to upset you. <laughs> On the contrary, it relaxes me. Well, in any case, let me go get the doctor. I beg of you. No! I absolutely forbid it. I can't stand obstinate people. Well. Right, Osterus, against his will, on purpose. He's probably on the better for it. How can you say a thing like that? Surely you don't. You think always see the black side of everything. It obviously gave him great pleasure to turn into a rhinoceros. There's nothing extraordinary in that. There's nothing extraordinary in that, but I doubt it gave him much pleasure. And why? Great. It's hard to say exactly why, it's just something you feel. <clears throat> I tell you, it's not all as bad as that. After all, we're right off, we're living creatures. They're just the same as us. They just must right, right to life as we have. Well, if they're not destroying ours in the process, we must admit the difference in mentality. Are you under the impression that our way of life is superior? We have our own set of moral standards, which I consider to be incompatible with the standards of these animals. No! Moral standards! <laughs> I am sick of moral standards! We must move beyond moral standards. What would you put in their place? Nature! Nature? <laughs> Nature has its own set of rules. Morality is against nature. Or are you suggesting that, uh, that we replace our moral laws with, with the laws of the jungle? It would suit me. Suit me fine. Uh, you say that, but deep down, no one... We've got to build our life on new foundations! We must return to the primeval integrity. I don't agree with you at all. <laughs> <Can't breathe. coughs> or just think. Just think a moment. <laughs> you must admit that we have a philosophy that animals don't share. And an irreplaceable set of values which has taken centuries of human civilization to build up. Demolish that! Be better! I know you don't mean that seriously. You're joking. It's just a poetic fancy. I never realized you were a poet. <laughs> Fundamentally, I know that's not what you think. I know you too well. You know as well as I do that, that mankind... Don't talk to me about mankind! I mean the human individual humanism. Humanism. All washed up. You're just a ridiculous old sentimentalist. But you must admit that the mind... Just cliches. 
You're talking rubbish. Rubbish? Utter rubbish! I'm amazed to hear you say that, Sean. Really? You must be losing your mind. So you wouldn't like to become a rhinoceros yourself, now, would you? Why not? I'm not a victim of prejudice like you! What? I I'm sorry you swallowed your words. I didn't hear what... Then open your ears! What? Open your ears! I said, what's wrong with turning into a rhinoceros? I'm all for change. Oh, it's not like you to say a thing like that. Oh. oh, you really must be out of your mind. Sean. Sean, you mustn't get yourself into such a state. I hardly recognize you anymore. Hot. Whoa, too hot. Clothes. The itch. It. The most a lot. The itch. The what? What are you doing? You're not yourself. You're generally so wrong. The swans. The swans. Stop. Stop. Look at me. Look at me. Can't you see me any longer? Can't you hear me? I can hear you perfectly well. I can see you perfectly well. Oh, watch out! Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I really can't leave him like that after all. He is a friend. Sean, I'm going to get the doctor. Believe me, it's absolutely necessary. No! Calm down, Sean! You're being ridiculous! Oh, your horn. Your horn is getting longer. Oh, oh you're a rhinoceros! I'll trample you! Oh, he's a rhinoceros! I'll trample you! He's a rhinoceros! Oh, oh I never would have thought it of him! Look at the police! Get the police! There's a rhinoceros in the building! What is the matter? Get the police! There's a rhinoceros in the house! John, why are you making all that noise? I don't know! He says he's seen a rhinoceros! That's in the house! Get the police! What is the matter with you? Why are you disturbing the people like that? What a way to behave! Order! Order! Get the police! There's a rhinoceros in the house!
Such a warm-hearted person, always so human. Who'd have thought it of him? We've known each other for for donkeys years. I mean, he's the last person I would have expected to change like that. I, I felt more sure of him than of myself. And, and then to do that to me. I'm sure he didn't do it especially to annoy you. Well, it seemed as if he did. If you'd seen, if you'd seen the state he was in, the expression on his face. It's just that you happen to be at the time, it would have been the same no matter who was there. Yes, but after all our years together, you I think you would have been able to control himself in front of me. I think everything revolves around you. You think everything that happens concerns you personally. You are not the center of the universe. Perhaps you're right. I must try to readjust myself. The phenomenon in itself is so disturbing. To tell the truth, it absolutely shatters me. What, what can be the explanation? Well, for the moment, I haven't found a satisfactory explanation. 
I observe the facts. I take them in. They exist, so they must have an explanation. A freak of nature, perhaps a bizarre caprice, an extravagant silk. <laughs> a game. No, Sparrow. Sean was very proud, of course. I'm not ambitious at all. I'm, I'm content to be what I am. Perhaps he felt the urge for some fresh air, the country, the wide open spaces. Perhaps he felt the need to relax. I'm not saying that's any excuse now to turn. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> At least I'm trying to. But what if someone accused me of being a bad sport or, or hopelessly middle class or completely out of touch with life? I'd, I'd still want to stay as I am. And we'll all stay as we are. Don't you worry. So why upset yourself over a few cases of Rhinoceritis. <laughs> Perhaps it's just another disease. Well, exactly, and I'm afraid of catching oh, it. Stop thinking about it. <laughs> you attach too much importance to the whole issue. John's case isn't symptomatic. He's not a typical case. You said yourself he was proud. In my opinion, if you'll excuse me saying this about your friend, he was far too excitable. A bit wild and eccentric. You mustn't face your judgments on the exceptions. It's the our average case you must consider. I began to see daylight. See, you couldn't explain this phenomenon to me, and yet you've just provided me with a plausible explanation. Yes, of course. Jean must have been in a critical condition to have got himself into that state. He must have been temporarily unbalanced. <laughs> but he did have his reasons for it. He'd obviously given a lot of thought and weighed the pros and cons. What about Wolf then? Was he mad too? And what about all the well, others? There's still the epidemic theory. It's like influenza. It's not the first time there's been an epidemic. Yes, but there's never been one like this. <laughs> what if it's come from the colonies? Well, you can be sure that Wolf and the others didn't do what they did, become what they became, just to annoy you. They wouldn't have gone through all that trouble. <laughs> yes. You're probably right. That's a reassuring thought. Or perhaps. On the other hand, that makes it worse. Oh, there! There! Do you hear that? There they are! Why can't you leave them alone? Not doing you any harm, really. You're obsessed by them. It's not doing you any good. You're wearing yourself out. You've had one shock. Why look for more? You just concentrate on getting back to normal. I wonder if I really am immune. In any case, it's not fatal. Certain illnesses are good for you. I'm sure this is something you can cure if you want to. Bound to get have over it. Certain after effects is bound to have them. I mean, an organic upheaval. It's like only that. temporary. Don't you worry. <laughs> Are you absolutely certain? I think so. Yes, I suppose so. Well, in any case, you really don't want to catch this thing. Really don't want to catch it, which after all is a nervous disease. Then you don't catch it. You, you simply you don't catch it. Well, you feel like a brandy. Thank you, I, I never touch it. Go right here if you want some. Go right ahead. Just make sure it doesn't make your head any worse. Alcohol is good for epidemics. It immunizes you. <laughs> it kills uh, influenza microbes, for instance. Yeah, perhaps it doesn't kill all microbes. They don't know about the rhinoceritis yet. <laughs> no, Sean never touched alcohol. He just pretended to. Perhaps. Perhaps that explains his attitude. Are you sure you won't? No, never before lunch, thank you. <laughs> See? You can't take it. It makes you cough. I, I did cough. Oh, but, but it was a normal human cough, wasn't there? There wasn't anything odd about it? <laughs> it's an ordinary human cough. What other sort of cough could it have been? I don't know. Animal's cough? <laughs> the rhinoceros's cough. Look, Berenger, you're being ridiculous. You invent difficulties for yourself. You ask yourself the weirdest questions. You said yourself that the best protection against this thing was willpower. Yes, I did. Well, then, you got some. I have, I assure you. Well, then, prove it to yourself now. Don't drink any more brandy. You'll feel more sure of yourself now. You deliberately misunderstand me. I, I told you, I only take it because it keeps the worst at bay. I, I'm doing it quite deliberately. Once the epidemic's over, then I shall stop drinking. I, 
Just putting it off for the time being. You're inventing excuses for yourselves. Do you think so? In any case, that has nothing to do with what's happening now. How do we know? Do you really think so? What do you think? That's how the rot sets in. I'm not an alcoholic. You don't, you don't think by any chance. <coughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Nothing, jeez. You see, it hasn't done any harm, so it must have done good. <laughs> or it's harmless at any rate. <laughs> I was only joking. I was just teasing you. You see the black side of everything. You better watch out or you'll become a neurotic. Once you've gotten over your shock completely, you can get out for a breath of fresh air. Feel more sure of yourself. You'll see. And all these morbid ideas will just vanish. Go out? I suppose I'll have to. I'm dreading the moment. I'm bound to meet some of them. And what if you do? You just keep out of their way. You just keep out of their way. <coughs> I see them all over the place. You'll probably say that's being morbid too. They don't attack you. If you ignore them, they ignore you. And you can't see the spiteful. They've even got a certain natural innocence about them. A sort of frankness. Besides, I walked right along the avenue to get to you today. You don't see me in any harm, do you? No trouble at all. I'm right here. Just the sight of them upsets me. It's, it's a nervous thing. I, I, I don't get angry. No, no, no. It doesn't pay to get angry. You never know what it'll lead to. I watch out for that. But, but it does something to me here. I, I get a tight feeling inside. I think you're right to a certain extent to have some reaction. You go too far. You have no sense of humor, not at all, and that's your trouble. You must learn to become more detached <laughs> and try and see the, the funny sides of things. I feel responsible for everything that happens. I feel involved. I just can't help it. I just can't be indifferent. Well, judge not, lest ye be judged. <laughs> go on worrying about everything that happens to you, well, you'll never be able to go on living. If only it had happened somewhere else, in some other country, and we just read about it in the papers. Then we could discuss the matter quietly. We could observe the question from all points of view and come to an objective conclusion. We could organize debates with professors and writers and lawyers and blue stockings and artists and people. On the common man on the street, it would be interesting and instructive. But you're involved in yourself, and you suddenly find yourself up against the brutal facts. You can't, you can't help but feel directly concerned. It's, the shock is, the shock is too violent to be calm and detached. And I'm frankly, very surprised. I'm very, very surprised. I just can't get over it. I'm surprised too. Rather, I was. Now, I'm just starting to get used to it. Your nervous system is better balanced than mine. You're lucky. But don't you agree that it's all very disturbing? I didn't say it was a good thing. Don't get me wrong. I'm not on the rhinoceros side. <laughs> oh. oh, there they go again. Oh, will they ever stop? It's no use. I just... I can't get used to them. I just... I get insomnia, I just... Well, maybe it's wrong of me, but... But they obsess me so much in spite of myself, I just... I can't sleep at night, I get insomnia. I, I doze a bit in the daytime out of sheer exhaustion. Just take some sleep, damn Oh no, that's not the answer. If I sleep, it's worse, I dream about them, I get nightmares. This is what comes of taking things too seriously. You get a kick out of torturing yourself. Admit it. I'm no masochist, I assure you. Then face the facts and get over it. This is the situation at hand, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's fatal. It's common sense! When something like this happens, there's bound to be a reason for it. I just don't want to accept the situation. 
What are you going to do about it, Baron? I don't know. I, I have to think about this. I shall write to the papers. I'll draw up manifestos. <laughs> I shall apply for an audience with the mayor, uh, or his deputy if the mayor's too busy. You leave the authorities to act as they think best. I'm not sure morally if you have the right to butt in. In any case, I still think it's not all that serious. I think it's silly to get worked up because a few people decide to change their skins. They just weren't happy in the ones they had before. They're free to do as they like. Yes, but we must attack the evil at the root! Oh, the evil! 